السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل صابر کھارا آئی ایم اے پی ایچ ڈی اسٹوڈنٹ ایٹ دا سٹی یونیورسٹی آف ہانگ کانگ ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا ہانگ کانگ پی ایچ ڈی فیلو شپ اسکیم وچ از رینڈ اسکالرشپ اینڈ پریسٹیجیس اسکالرشپ آل اوور دی ورلڈ دے آر بیسیکلی تھری ہنڈریڈ کینڈیڈیٹ سلیکٹڈ آل اوور دی ورلڈ فار دس پریسٹیجیس اسکالرشپ So it has already announced, so if you are interested in um, submitting your application and want to hunt this scholarship, then this in video is quite interesting for you. So please watch this video at the end so that you can collect a lot of information. So let's discuss about this prestigious opportunity. First, let's discuss about the last deadline for online application submission in 1 September 2022. There are basically eight universities that come under this prestigious scholarship. So if you will, I will also mention the uh, Hong Kong PID fellowship scheme link in the YouTube description section where you can find eight universities that come under this scholarship. But for the selection criteria, please keep this thing in your mind. They mention academic excellence, research ability and potential, communication and interpersonal skills, leadership abilities so a lot of my youtube community friends ask about what is meant by academic excellence so let's discuss about the first academic excellence means you must have a good excellent academic record at least 3.8 plus above cgp out of 4 that's mandatory that's the most important thing for this hong kong pid fellowship scheme along with that if you have Uh, uh, peer reviewed publication then it's also have a good plus point along with that if you have a IELTS or TOEFL score then it's also a very plus point because at the end they will calculate all those things but if you don't have IELTS or TOEFL no don't worry about it still you can submit your application along with that a lot of my colleagues ask uh, about the like is it necessary to approach professor before submit application then The answer is this is optional you can first approach your supervisor that's very very beneficial if supervisor is giving you a, a positive response you can submit your application and you can write your name write your professor name whenever you are submitting your application but in case if you didn't find any supervisor i mean like your supervisor is any supervisor is not giving you a response then don't worry you can still submit your application that's good news for you but like then at the end whenever you submit your application graduate school will submit sub forward your research proposal to the concerned area working in the, your domain then it depends on your luck whether any professor is interested in your proposal or not if the supervisor or professor is interested then they will conduct your interview so don't worry if you supervisor are not giving response don't worry still you can submit your application that was the first academic excellence then let's discuss about the research ability and potential i already described if you already publish your peer reviewed publication as a first author or as a co author then it's also good and plus point you can include all those research ability and potential i mean if you have presented your uh, any papers in uh, international conferences or national conferences include all those things in your cv communication and interpersonal skills means like of course if you have published your paper you have presented your papers in various conferences it means you have a ability of good communication and interpersonal skills leadership abilities if you work uh, previously in any ngos or any social welfare organization then also include all these things in your cv don't forget to mention any things that you have done previously because all these things have a separate plus points so please forget uh, don't forget to miss anything in your cv so that was all the things um, because many my friends were asking about the academic excellence and communication and interpersonal skills so please watch all these videos please uh, carefully along with that many colleagues of my friends were asking about is it necessary to approach professor so i already described that this is not necessary but this is plus point because you already contact your professor 
so provisor is interested they have already reviewed your research proposal whenever you will submit your application then definitely graduate school will submit your research proposal to the concerned professor that you have written whenever you are submitting your online an application but don't worry if you still did not get any professor don't worry you need to submit your application but one thing don't worry that you need to submit your uh, application application fee because many of my friends were also asking about the application fee waiver so uh, sorry to say there is no any fee waiver so you must need to pay at least 200 hkd per uh, application submission but like they it totally depends on you if you want to submit your application in one university or if you want to submit your application in two universities so it totally depends on you don't worry you can if you are confident that yeah when i will submit your application in one university i can get an admission then no need to submit your application in second university but yeah if you are confused then you can submit your application in two universities in different department but you need to pay two times but that's not mandate but that's compulsory as i told you earlier that's compulsory so along with that if you still have any confusion please uh, don't hesitate and feel free to discuss with me i will be very happy to reply you as by, um, per my earliest convenience thank you so much stay blessed please subscribe my channel allah hafiz